Uh, the story I'm going to tell you about happened on February 13, 2004. And that was a Friday. And I know that because that's the last time I smoked a single, a cigarette, a whole cigarette by myself, like I actually needed it, like my life depended on it. You see, back then, I was doing my master's degree in the University of Texas at El Paso. And every Friday evening, uh, me and my friends at, a time, at the time would drive over to Mesilla, New Mexico, which is about 45 minutes away from El Paso. And there, uh, there's a, a great film, uh, art house film theater that shows great alternative film and classics and stuff like that. And that night, uh, they were showing Dr. Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Learn to Love David Bond. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's a great comedy about the end of the world. And it's hilarious. It is the funniest thing I have ever seen. And I had seen it about 10 or 15 times by then, but I really wanted to see it again. And that night, uh, I had uh, m my friend Jaime was driving over there uh, with his something something at the time called Saida. And I was driving over there with a girl I'd been hanging out for a few months now, almost a year now. Uh, and we'd been hanging out, but we had never touched. And when I say we had never touched, I mean we had never shaken, uh, shaken our hands, we had never hugged, we had never kissed, we had never kissed uh, hello or kissed goodbye. And if you know me, you know that that's not very weird because I don't really like touching people because they're <laughs> picky most of the time, right? But this one girl I really wanted to touch, right? But I had just forgotten how to touch her. <laughs> I was like that. And uh, the main problem was that she absolutely hated the smell of cigarettes. And I love smoking, man. I love smoking so much that I named my lighter. Her name was Morgana. It was a her. <laughs> I love smoking so much that I actually named each cigarette that I smoke. And if you consider that at a point I smoke three packs a day, that's a lot of names to go to on a single day, okay? I love smoking so much that every time I had a break between classes, I would be smoking to the last second before that class, when, when the class let out, to the last second before the next class would begin. I, like, read between the lines. I really, really, really like smoking. So, but I knew that if I was ever to touch this girl, uh, I would just not have to smoke. And that was tough. And so that day, when we were uh, getting ready to drive to Mesilla, I had uh, one last cigarette, and uh, we drove on her car. And I, I never made mention of it. Uh, I, we, we just drove. And then when we got there, uh, she made a mention of it. Wow, you didn't smoke. And I say, yeah, no big deal. You know, I just I didn't smoke. I, I still remember the fucking day today, right? <laughs> Uh, an hour uh, later, while uh, Peter Sellers in Dr. Strangelove is talking about this uh, utopian society underground, living underground after the world has ended, where for some reason the female to male ratio is four to one, uh, <laughs> she and I started holding hands out of nowhere. We just started holding Ooh. hands. And that was the first time we touched. I swear. And uh, we just kept holding hands. And we kept laughing about the end of the world and uh, holding hands and laughing about the end of the world and holding hands. And on our way back, when, when the movie uh, finally ended, we drove back. And we were supposed to meet Jaime and Saida for Jaime's birthday. And we parked at UTEP where, my, where I had my own car. We were driving on her car. And we just sat there. And we just looked at each other. And we said, OK, I'll see you over at High Miss. And we just sat there. And we just looked at each other. And then we made out. And then we made out. And then we made out. And then we, made out, and then we never made it to High Miss birthday party. <laughs> And that was the last time I smoked a full cigarette by myself, like I actually needed it. And that was actually the last time I made out with a person for the first time, because I married her six months later.